Welcome, this is the Algebra 2 end of course test. This is the practice test, obviously. Test number one, question number 30. Which equation can be used to graph a circle with a radius of 4 and a center of 5 and negative 3? Now, the reality is you're going to need your formulas page for this unless you can just remember what the formula happens to be. So if you don't have your book in front of you, I'm going to give you like three seconds to go look for it. Two, one. Okay, you should have it by now. Anyway, if you don't have it, you can just, I'm going to write sort of what it says. If you look at your formulas page, which should be at the front of your intercourse test, if you go to the section that says conic sections, and then it has standard equations. I've run out of room on my board, so I don't know why I wrote so big this time. It's just the way that I am. If you go down a little bit in that section, it has a circle formula, and it says the formula is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So we have all the information that we need. Uh, the issue is that we need to make sure we plug them in the right order. See the whole x and y thing? Well, the x and y, you would think, oh, it's x and y for these two. But in this case, since they already have x and y as part of the equation, you need to have to just convert them to h and k. And they match them up pretty well, so it's not that hard. Uh, the issue in the formula is it has minus h here, which means you're going to have to change the sign of both those. So I'm just going to go ahead and mark this out and remind myself it's going to be negative 5 and positive 3. And that's what I'm going to plug in later. Uh, so the issue is uh, that the h goes after the x, the y goes after, or the k goes after the y, and then I just have to square the radius. The radius is 4, so 4 squared would be 16. So I'm going to go ahead and put 16 for where r squared is. Uh, down here I know that it's x, and since I changed the sign of that 5, it would be minus 5 squared. Then I look for plus. I need to change, I already changed the sign on the k up here, so I'm going to put y plus 3 squared. And then I'm just going to look for the x minus 5 squared plus y plus 3 squared equals 16. Oh look, here it is at g. And by the way, you should have eliminated f and h immediately because they didn't square the radius. But that's all you have to do. Use the formulas page. They give it to you for a reason. Some um, societies spent their entire uh, existence of coming up with one formula and we just throw it on the desk and don't even look at it. It's sort of disrespectful. So uh, good luck on this problem and everything should work out great for you.